content. So, you know, I just talked about this, uh, the Joel Klatt quote, love it. Uh, it's like being in a small cage with a boa constrictor is what Michigan's like. Um, we saw uh, that they are first in the country of opponent points per game, only allowing six points. So first out of all 133 teams in that metric um, and in a bunch of others, obviously uh, very good. So um, with all that said, is Michigan the best team in the country? And with that, we have our first caller. We got we got a friend of the show, Mike Ford, in the house. Hey, buddy, go blue. Hey, go blue, Scoop. How you doing? Doing good. I'm um, I'm loving uh, loving these guests coming on and and talking 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 ball. Uh, clearly, clearly was uh, looking at looking at all the different angles and uh, seeing how Minnesota would shake up. Yeah, a lot of it was less ball and more trawl. Well, there was some stuff in there was some commentary in chat that was very, uh, <laughs> very on the trawl side of things. Um, but uh, yeah, so so what's your take on on so so obviously Georgia's still ranked number one, um, Michigan number two. You know, I, I would say if you're going to pick a school that isn't Michigan to be number one, I would probably pick Texas over Georgia right now. Um, if you're if the argument is they ain't you know. Uh, Michigan ain't played nobody. Well, Georgia ain't played nobody either. If you, Auburn is the, what the best, and and they barely beat Auburn. Um, I don't think they're that much better than Rutgers. So no. you know, uh, and we we beat Rutgers uh, by a lot more. So I don't know. Um, what's what's your take on it? Uh, you know, what what do you think about uh, if Michigan is the best team in the country? Well, right now I would put Michigan one, Texas two, Georgia three. Okay. I, I, I honestly, if I think if Jalen Daniels had played for Kansas and Texas still wins that conflict, I'd probably have Texas won, to be honest. Mm. But keep in mind that, you know, Jalen Daniels is all that, that's pretty much all Kansas has. They're they're kind of a one man show. So, yeah, yeah, they're yeah, it's tough. Um, yeah, Texas is uh Obviously, they have the they have the big Bama win, um, and it seems like they you know things are things are finally clicking for them. Um, I'm not going to go as far as to say they're back yet until they actually you know get in uh, you know win a championship game and and you know get to the post you know get to the playoff. Um, but it seems like that's where they're headed unless they there's a big disappointment against uh, Oklahoma or another team coming up. And see, and that it would that would be fine because. I mean, we're we're gonna know what Texas is really made of on Saturday, you know, because it, it looks like it looks like Venables finally got Oklahoma where he needs needs to be at. Because last year was a bit of a disappointment. I I know you know he was his rookie campaign, but you know th he's he's firing in all cylinders right now. And I my my thing about Texas that Texas historically has dropped a game or two. They have no business losing. I think it was last year they lost to Texas Tech, and they were better than Texas Tech last year. Right. So that that's kind of a strike on them. Now, did they lost to TCU? Now, I think they were a better team than TCU. Now, apparently, not much better because you know TCU did end up making a championship game, but right. I mean, I'm I'm kind of slow on Texas just from the fact that I'm wondering if they're gonna win the games they should win. You know, a, a stat that I, I'll point out and we'll bring on uh, our other caller uh, in just a second. Um, but, you know, one one metric I looked at was uh, a percentage of snaps where uh, the team led by more than 14 points. So Michigan this year has led by 14 or more points for 62 percent uh, point one seven percent of their snaps which is better than every national title team recently except 2021 Georgia. That's the one exception. Um, granted, it's early, but I think that's notable. And also, uh, we're actually number one in the country in points per drive as well. Mm, points per drive and opponents, uh, you know, limiting opponent points too. Uh, yeah. You know, number one in the entire country on that. Uh, joining us as well is a friend of the show, Moose. 
Uh, we're just calling you uh, the, the, the Moose now. So uh, what's up, buddy? <laughs> what's up? Go blue. Go blue. Go blue, man. So what do you just, think uh, about this? Yeah. Uh, which game? The Michigan one? Well, I'm actually so we're talking now about who's the best team in the country, and I'm I'm uh, pointing out uh, some, you know Mike and I are pointing out some of the Michigan uh, points in, in its favor, like the fact that it's led uh you know we, we've been leading by 14 plus points for 62 percent of our snaps, um, which is better than every national title team except 2021 Georgia, um okay, and okay, Mike okay. just Mike just pointed out number one in points per game. Um, and in opponent points, well, limited points per, drive. Uh, uh, points per drive and limited um, in terms of the opponent points per game down to six. So it's number we're number one in the country on opponent uh, points I, per game that we allow. I mean, I thought I got. I know we haven't played top tier talent talent yet, but I mean, just from what I've seen, man, and I think I thought Michigan was really good last year. I think. I honestly think Michigan's playing like national championship caliber football right now, man. I really do. I'm not just saying that because I'm a fan. I just just from watching the games, I I truly I truly mean it. I think they are. Um, hey, Michael, friend know, of the show, but, uh, Michael you know, Wheatley here. Uh, uh, Michael Wheatley just posted, uh, you know, uh, his rankings here. So we've got. Looks like he's got. Uh, Florida State ahead, so Florida State one, uh, Michigan two, and Michael has a very has a tough game ahead in uh, in a couple days against uh, the Ohio State Buckeyes. But you know, but you know, John, you, you know, you know what's going to be the argument every time we talk anything positive about Michigan. You know what the argument is going to be? Ain't but, but, played but nobody. They haven't played anybody. They haven't played anybody. Who's Georgia? Okay. Played? So are we the only team? So apparently Michigan is the only team out of, what, 133 teams that don't play anybody? Apparently we're the only one. Except for Georgia. Right. Georgia gets a pass, though, because they won national championships. Apparently. Right. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I don't hate Florida State being – I mean – I, I I can understand why you pick you you know Florida. There, there's an argument for Florida State. Um, I, I I don't buy, I personally have Texas. I would have Texas ahead. I would have uh, Michigan ahead. Uh, you know. I, I I think the Boston College game kind of took Florida State out of the conversation. Yeah, that's yeah. why I'm not really touching Florida State. But I I I will say that I think that. And that's no disrespect to Georgia. I just don't think they're playing championship football right now. I think that if I had to pick two teams, it'd probably be Michigan and Texas that are playing the best right now. Yep. You might even throw Oklahoma in there too. Oklahoma, you could probably throw in there too. 